Right, I'm going to put together my 3D printed body. Now, I've been in the workshop for a while, so I've got quite mucky hands, so hopefully this won't cause too many problems. But in this box, which I just checked for my address just in case, uh, I have some 3D printed pieces. And what I'm going to do with these is sand them down and glue them together. Now, the STL file for this is on my um, is on my Thingverse. Uh, this body isn't available on Shapeways because it's actually cheaper to get it done in sandstone for four hundred dollars than it is to get in plastic for eight hundred dollars, or steel for thirty six hundred dollars, which is just absolutely mad. But I've got some lovely chemicals here in the box. I've got some steel brushes for when I want to um, flatten down the 3D printed lines, but this body is a Dodge Ram body. So I've got a tailgate. Now this is kind of a prototype, kind of might just cover it in filler and get on with it. So it's printed as a large format, which means I used a 0.6mm nozzle and a thick layer height. So it has lost some of the detail, um, but it's got a bobbed and um, dovetailed rear end, although because I did it digitally it's more kind of just like pinched. And then the cab is in red with the roof in red. And then to give it that kind of wrapped rod lived on a farm kind of look, we've got a black bonnet, um, gold doors, it's supposed to look like yellow. Once it's been sanded down and looks a bit more matte, it'll look a bit better. A random blue fender, a nice red fender, and just the other pieces for the cap. So I'm going to start sanding these down and then I'm gonna glue them together. Uh, essentially what I'm trying to do is anywhere that I need to join together, I'm just sanding down so that I can get a good adhesion. Um, I'm probably going to try and get the bed together first because it's got these super rough back pieces that'll make getting these lined up a lot easier with the glue uh, rather than trying to join these two thin edges and hold that together. So that should get most of the structural stuff together. I should be able to get uh, the cab on, probably probably get the doors on at the same time and that'll all sort of come together. Uh, I'll film bits as I go along, um, but I don't have a time lapse on my camera. So I'm gonna look into that, see what I can do, but I'll, I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, so we're part way through and it stinks of super glue in here. I've got the rear cab and the the, the rear fenders together. Uh, the great thing about this was um, because I'd sliced it down the middle is I glued these two pieces together and then the whole thing went together with a lot better surface area and there's there's like a little channel down the middle that I filled full of super glue and I'm using this um, industrial strength stuff. Uh, that takes a little bit longer to set but fills gaps. It'll fill gaps up to uh, 0.3 mil so uh, it's also a bit of a filler. Now I've got a heater just sat out of the way that's set to not too high, just enough to keep me warm in winter but this is sort of sat in front of there um, just getting a bit of heat into it, just getting it curing. Um, I actually think I'm gonna have to, even though I cut the bed out to fit the shock towers, I think I might have to chop this bed a bit more. Um, now it's all coming together. I'm actually starting to feel the weight of how heavy uh, hard bodies actually are. And this is, you know, this is printed thick plastic. I think it's about 550, 600 grams. So still not as much as a Lexan Defender body, um, but, but still quite heavy. Uh, compared to the G500 shell, which looks bigger, um, but actually is, is quite lightweight, even with a light kit in it. It's only about 350 grams. Uh, the the G500, the scattergun, the it's going to need a name. Um, that's that's going to fit quite well. Now I'm not taking the body posts off just in case I don't get this job done and I want to go out this weekend. But yeah, it's it's sitting a bit high where that bed is. So I'm gonna cut that bed down to let it drop down. Probably gonna to have to take a chunk out of the cab. But 
but the way I've cut it, it's going to fit up against my shift servo perfectly, so there's space there. The rear seems to fit in quite well, and when this is sat, you know, nice and low on the body, that's going to look pretty cool. Um, you can tell it's 3D printed because of all the ley lines, but, you know, I will... I will sand it, fire it, cover it in filler and maybe even spray it a different colour. I've got some heavy duty wood varnish that I'm going to try. I'll probably put it on a piece that I cut off and see if I can get rid of the layer lines if I can. I'm going to just varnish the whole thing, um, which this actually dries flat, which will get rid of some of the shininess and, and really give it that, that battered farm truck look. And yeah, let's see how it goes for now. I need to turn that heater back on because it's freezing cold in here and I'll catch you in a minute. Well, it's still still getting there. It's been a lot of sanding, a lot of super gluing, but this body is starting to look pretty awesome. Don't really want to take this camp off just yet, but yeah, it's definitely pinched and bobbed. As I thought, the... Uh, the, the rear bed needs chopping out fully to fit a scattergun style rail. Um, but yeah, hard work. Lots of sandpaper to get, get it to match. Uh, there's a few panel gaps, but it's based on an old truck, so that just adds to the fun. Uh, I'm shattered, but gonna keep going. Well, I am covered in dust. This room is covered in dust, but everything is glued together and it's had the first scotch bright with one of these. So this is a Dremel with a 200 grit scotch bright tool. It's given everything a bit of a sort of bumpy look, but actually that makes it look more kind of beat up and, and farm-like. It's a little bit um, dusty, so, I'm going to clean it up, chop it up because I need to cut this middle bit out and then mount it on top of this. So just to recap, we are at about that stage, which I think looks awesome. It looks so cool. Uh, I just need to make it fit and yeah varnish it afterwards after I've cleaned it up but I'm probably going to fit it and run it for a bit and then clean it off and varnish it later so that's enough for now. Mm -hmm. 